guys give it up for Mr. John Cooper from Skillet. Come on. for the impending rock show is going to melt some faces all over the world. Uh, anyway, good to see you guys. Um, I'm just very excited to be here. Winter Jam's going absolutely awesome. Tonight's going to be broadcast, so hopefully it can be the awesomest. Because we can't make mistakes, everybody's watching. So anyway, it's going to be awesome fun. Uh, Tour's going so good. I, the thing I love most about Winter Jam, this is my third uh, time doing the tour, has always been the great emphasis on ministry. Um, and it's always been so evident by them bringing you guys back here. It's the first one I've ever been on that kind of like, you know, did something cool for the youth workers, which is so good. You deserve it because it's one of the hardest jobs in the world. I know this because I, I led my youth group for a year. My wife and I did actually a few years ago, and it was hard work. Anyway, they asked me to leave after smacking a kid or something. It's <laughs> the big deal. Anyway, uh, but you know, our home church, we didn't have a, we didn't have anybody. Couldn't afford anybody. I was like, I think we can do it. We'll be fine. We'll play on the weekends. And anyway, you get those calls all week long. I'm like, we gotta go do a show. Gotta have another talk about grace again. <laughs> anyway. It's hard work, and uh, thank you guys so much for what you do. I'm excited because Winter Jam has, um, keeps uh, going more and more and more outside of the church with the, the clientele, the people that are coming. It's so cool to see people that don't want anything to do with Jesus coming to an event like this because it's so spectacular. Um, atheists or agnostics or people that are, you know, backslidden or I made a decision once but I don't know. And we've had a chance to meet people after the shows and autograph lines or they tweet me and things. And I am just stunned sometimes at the people going through. For instance, we were playing a show, uh, or this is on the third week of the tour, and I was thinking, there's a lot of people from outside the church coming. Anyway, I was rocking on stage. I saw these guys on here, and they were just killing it on the front row. But they weren't teenagers. Usually, people are going that crazy. They're, you know, they're like 15 or 45. Anyway, these guys were like, you know, 25. You don't usually see that college age killing it. So I was like, I'm gonna go down there and give them a high five. So I walked down there, and it was like, it was like. What is that smell? I was like, oh, that's what pot smells like. I forget. That terrible, like, skunky, uh, you know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, terrible smell. And I was like, oh, my gosh. We're really getting all kinds of people in this tour. And I'm so pumped about it. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. And it also means that your kids are proud of this. And they're telling their friends about it. And some of you probably grew up uh, as your same age as, as me, growing up trying to make my friends listen to Christian music. That was a fight. And uh, it, truth was, Christian music has always been great. It's just people didn't want to listen to it. And we're finally getting to a place where your kids are proud and they're showing their friends. Their friends are going, I'll go check that out. And God has plans for a lot of these people that they didn't know. And he's... He's, uh, what, is the, what does it say in the Bible? Snatching them out of hell. Come on, I love that. Anyway, so very exciting. It's such a great, great night. And I'm so glad all you guys came. I hope you have lots of fun. And make your kids embarrassed because you're going so well. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Good job. Thank you, guys.